damselfish grow algae to eat. But when they don't let other fish eat it, there's too much algae. All that extra algae makes the reef sick. You see, Pete and his friends keep the algae from spreading too far. If they can just eat some of the extra algae, the sick coral reef will get better. Yes, but damselfish are very protective of the algae they grow. They'll never listen to other algae-eating fish like us. Don't worry. We'll talk to them for you. Excuse me. We'd like to talk to you damselfish about a problem on the coral reef. You got a problem? Talk to the boss. The boss? The one with the big spot on his face. Uh, a big spot? Sorry, I don't see a damselfish with a big spot. Oh, yes. Damselfish can see colours we can't. If you want to see that big spot, you'll have to set your binoculars to... Damselfish vision. <laughs> what will Tweak think of next? Ah, that's better. Aha, the spot. Excuse me, are you the boss? Certainly I am. And keep off the algae. Right, um, we're the Octonauts, and we've discovered some trouble on this coral reef. <laughs> There's no trouble for us damselfish. We're sitting pretty with more algae than we can eat. Ain't that right, boys? Right, right boss. That is the trouble. Too much algae makes the coral reef sick. But you can save the coral reef if you'll just let some of the other fish eat some of the algae too. Forget about it. This is my algae farm, and I don't ever leave it. Now scram! Whoa, easy quasi. We'll scram. If the boss never leaves his algae farm, then he has no idea that the coral reef is sick. We need to get the boss off his farm. Aye, but how? We're going to take his algae. Take his algae? algae? I'll explain. Octonauts and algae eaters to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to save the coral reef. But first, we have to show the damselfish that the coral reef is sick. Here's the plan. We steal some algae from the damselfish and use it as bait to lead them to the sick coral. So the damselfish will see for themselves that the coral reef is in trouble. This algae is heavily guarded by the damselfish. Yes, and each damselfish has his own personal patch of algae. If we take some algae from the boss's personal patch, he's sure to chase after us. Aye, but look at all those patches. How do we know which one is his? Tunip, that smells awful. Great work. I'm sure the sea pigs will love it. <coughs> Captain, I can't hold them back any longer. And you won't have to. Flappity <coughs> flippers, they're turning around. Steady as we go, Tunip. Hold her here while I unload the sea pig's feast. Uh-oh. Hey, sir. The Gup X is sinking into the mud. We need your help now. On my way, Captain. <laughs> Right, Peso. Let's hope that cup of yours can take the strain. Okay, Tunip. Full reverse power. has fallen into the trench. I need you to go after him, fast. Aye, aye, Captain. Everyone else, some of the sea pigs have followed the Gup X into the trench. We need to rescue them, too. 
were attacked by something fast-moving with big, sharp teeth. What the door? I knew it! Fang Tooth Snapper, show yourself! Whoa, easy, Quasi. Everyone, wait here while I take a look around. Hmm, it looks like the coast is clear. Oh, good, because we still have a few more mangrove seeds to plant. <laughs> Come on, Vegemals! What? Shiny! Whoa! Barracudas! Everyone, back into the mangrove forest. Those barracudas came out of nowhere. Of course! Barracudas really like shiny things, like the Vegemal's tools. They must think they're food. <laughs> Don't worry, Tunip. They shouldn't follow us in here. Barracudas like to stay in deeper water. Can we just wait for them to go away? No. Barracudas are very patient. They can wait a long, long time for their food. Attention! Barracudas! Hello? What is it? Please, stop attacking us so we can plant our mangrove seeds. We'd like to, believe me, but those shiny things just look so delicious. Yes, we go crazy when we see them. We can't help it. Okay, but this is just a gardening tool. It's not food. Shiny things! <laughs> They're just too hungry to listen. We'll have to distract the barracudas while the vegetables finish the planting. Everyone in position. Oh, I got it. Good. Vegetables, start planting on my count. One, two, three. <laughs> Shiny. Quasi, go. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Can't see them now, can you? That's your cue, Peso. Hey, look at this. Shiny, this way. Shiny! You're up next, Shellington. Hey! Up here! Hey! Barracudas! Over here! Shiny! That's it! We just have to keep them busy until the vegetables are finished planting. Captain! Uh, I can't keep this up much longer! Vegemals, look out! Oh, I didn't think the barracudas would follow the Vegemals into the mangrove forest. They must be really hungry. Quasi, come in, Quasi. We've lost contact, Captain. His radio's been damaged. Dashy, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we've lost radio contact with Quasi. He may be hurt or in trouble. Dashy, keep trying to radio him. Peso, into the guppe with me. Tweak, open the Octo Hatch. Got it, Cap. Uh, uh, 
requires it to octopod. Come here, me hearties. Ah, me radio's broken. But I've still got a Pirate King sword to find. Okay now, where's that X that marks the spot? <sighs> that warm water again. Yow! A flying sword! Yow! <laughs> No telling where more of these magical flying swords might be lurk. Ah! Here I am! No, over here! No, down here, matey! Arr! Two down, one to go! There he is, Captain. Hang on, Peso. This could get a bit rocky. Something tells me that the X that marks the spot is right behind this... Ow! Aha! The last one! Stand aside, you scurvy sword! Magic ye may be, but quick enough to catch this pirate? Never! Captain, I've lost sight of him. Looks like he's inside the kelp forest. Quasi! Look! Quasi! It's not Quasi! We've been chasing a figurehead! One that could only have come off a pirate ship! But then, where's Quasi? Ha <laughs> ha! Outran him! So, it's a duel you're wanting, is it? Then it's a duel ye shall have! Hey, you're a swordfish! Of course I'm a swordfish! But did you think I was? 